First, let's look at the advantages to using Zotero. In Zotero, highlights and annotations are made directly to the PDF, and Zotero has more features to organize your research library. Zotero also has unlimited public and private groups, and plugins for more major word processors, including OpenOffice and NeoOffice in addition to Microsoft Word and LibreOffice. Zotero also has more customization, plugins and updates in Mendeley, and significantly more support for users with screen readers. Now let's look at some of the downsides to Zotero. Zotero does have a clunkier user interface. It also has less free cloud storage. It has 300 megabytes, which is about 100 articles. And finally, it lacks support for Internet Explorer extensions. So now let's look at the advantages to using Mendeley. Mendeley has more free cloud storage, up to 2 gigabytes or nearly 700 articles. Mendeley also has an official product on most platforms, including most browsers, web extensions, and a mobile app. And Mendeley's web and desktop application have a really easy to use interface. It's easy to learn, and it's really good for people who aren't as computer savvy. Finally, it has search tools that will help find related research based on what you've already added to your working citation library. So Mendeley can be really helpful if you need to add more research. Now let's look at some of the downsides to Mendeley. Mendeley is not screen reader compatible and it doesn't have its own accessibility features, although it does support system settings. Mendeley limits private groups to five, although public groups are still unlimited. And annotations and notes that you make within Mendeley work best on Mendeley's own platform. If you want to export your changes out that you've made to your PDFs, you need to use an export PDF function and take a few more steps. For more information about the specifics of Mendeley and Zotero, please check out our guide. And if you have any research questions, please don't hesitate to ask a librarian.